Real fam, just like us, many of you are working from home. We understand that. And while we're all adapting to looking at ourselves all day on screen, some of us feel like we might need a little help. I mean, the girls have helped me a lot. So if you're struggling to pull it together, don't worry. We've come up with some tips to help you out. This is called Screen Time Fine. Mm. All right, I got you, I got you. This tip is a must have whenever I'm on camera for work or I'm just chatting. It's a ring light. Oh my yes. God, if you don't have one in your house already, you're missing out. It's the next best thing to natural light. Trust me, bad lighting is never a good look. And ring lights are super easy and they're cheap, you guys. You literally just plug it in, no one will ever know. Ring lights are good for selfies, blogging, and virtual meetings too. I'm, I'm always ordering one online and if you're in your next meeting, just sit back and let the compliments roll in once you've got your glow on. Get into it. There That's you go. Lonnie light. knows exactly what we're talking about. <laughs> yep. there you go. Okay, flip it around, Lonnie, because okay. I want to hear from you now. Okay, my ring, my tip is about angles. So, you know, you have to make sure your angles are on point. First, be sure your computer is positioned at arm's length, you know, and then place it on a box or a stand. I have a, a stand here that I use sometimes, especially for my Zoom calls. And it's, yeah. you know, put it on the stand about 12 to 16 inches off of your desk to give the camera some height. And this gives you your face a little more slimming effect and also removes unwanted shadows. Now the goal is for the camera to be just slightly above eye level mm -hmm. and be sure to open your eyes, tilt your head up, a little bit as well. And one more thing, since we're um, talking about angles and positioning, you guys, make sure you pay attention to your background. Don't have piles of clothes and dirty dishes. That's why I turned around over here to the corner of the window, because, you know, we get busy and sometimes we don't have the time to clean up. But, you know, try not to let your boss and coworkers see your mess. OK, Adrian, <laughs> what keeps you screen time fine? I love it. Those are great tips, Lonnie. All right. Y'all already know my go-to. It's all in the lip color. A bold lip mm. color really punches up your look and brings out your features. Yeah. It's a sure way to set you apart from all the other little boxes your colleagues may see. Personally, I love a pop and red lip, as you can tell. But you guys, there's also a few other tips from a bold lip pro, which when it comes to color... To lip color, confidence is key. That's the number one thing. And believe in the lipstick and your ability to rock a daring color. And also, don't be afraid to experiment with different shades. Don't just go red. There's hot pink. I've even seen purple lately. Okay. Also, a lip liner is definitely a must. Trust me on this. It defines your lips and it also helps the color stay on longer without smudging and getting all over the place. Garcelle. What you got for us? That is a great tip. And you sure do look great with a bold color, Adrian. Yeah. Um, okay, so my yes. tip for those who don't have a ring light or are too scared to rock a bold lip like Adrian, you just can't um, figure out the angles like Lonnie was talking about. It's a little known secret that many of your video favorite conference apps have a filter setting. Let me Boom. tell you that will save your life. Yep, that's right. Let me just tell you, if you overslept, if you don't feel like, you know, putting on makeup or you're running late, what you do is you can cheat a little bit with the video conference cheat code. So what you do, Ooh. a few clicks, you can conceal blemishes. You can make your skin look smoother or brighter, whatever you need. So you never have to deal with makeup. So a little filter will go a long way. Thank God for technology. All right, mm -hmm. so you can find filters next to your camera icon. So the next time you're looking for a quick fix or you just wanna go makeup free for the day, a filter will do the trick. Genius, well, Garcelle. Well, I don't well. go to that a lot. Who knew? We are all know, living right? proof that these tips work, trust me. You can't tell me we're not working it while working. Pose, ladies. <laughs> Damn.